Nin hydrin test for amino acids and proteins. So this is one percentage nin hydrin, that is one gram of nin hydrin in hundred ml of water. You can add a few drops of acetone or acetic acid. Also, now this is one percentage uh, amino acid, one percentage protein, and one percentage glucose. Now here, amino acid and protein uh, gives a positive nin hydrin test, uh, while uh, glucose is taken as a negative control here. To the tube marked 1, we are adding approximately 2 ml of amino acid. So the addition is approximate only. Since uh, this is a qualitative test, we add approximate, uh, approximately 2 ml of uh, uh, each of these solutions. A protein to the second test tube and a glucose to the third test tube. Now uh, we add 2 to 3 drops of 1% in hydrogen to each of these test tubes. Just 2 3 drops only to each of these tubes. And don't forget to shake the tubes well after addition of reagent. And these tubes are taken to boiling water bath. Now, these are kept in boiling water bath for a few minutes. And we can detect the appearance of violet purple color in the first test tube in which uh, amino acid was taken and uh, uh, within one minute one or two minutes uh, we can uh, detect the purple color in uh, the second test tube also but here we have to uh, note that proline which is uh, mistermed as amino acid it gives the amino acid proline gives yellow color all other amino acids give purple color or a deep violet purple color so, like this the first test tube amino acid positive reaction, second test tube protein positive reaction, ninadin reaction, and third is glucose. A positive ninadin test indicates the uh, presence of amino acids uh, or protein in the given solution. A uh, positive uh, ninadin test means the appearance of uh, purple violet color in the final solution. In fact, all amino acids react with ninadin to give uh, this purple color. And actually, one molecule of an acid reacts with the two molecules of uh, ninhydrin to give a particular complex called Ruhimann's purple, uh, which eventually gives the purple color to the final solution. Protein uh, actually gives a less intense uh, purple color because of the uh, lesser number of free amino groups uh, in proteins. Mm. Unlike amino acids, all amino acids will be having uh, free amino groups in them so that uh, the, the color will be more intense in the case of amino acids. So this is a uh, test for you. Uh, thank you very much.